How European Leaders Made Money on Kiev The West has shown unprecedented solidarity with Ukraine. The sanctions against Russia are the most sweeping in history. Britain, Poland, and France are especially zealous. There is also personal interest behind it. The British were distracted from Boris Johnson's pandemic parties, Emmanuel Macron earned extra points before the election, and Warsaw hopes to lead Eastern Europe. Angela Merkel was called not only Chancellor of Germany, but also the leader of all Europe. After her resignation, her closest ally, French President Emmanuel Macron, got a chance to make a loud statement. Amid reports of an impending attack on Ukraine, he went to Moscow and then to Kiev for talks to ease tensions. And at the same time to gain fame as the man who prevented a war. Macron praised his diplomatic successes, I have ensured that there will be neither deterioration nor escalation. Since then, the French leader has been in constant contact with both the Bankova and the Kremlin, but with no visible results. Before the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, Poland's position in Europe was rather precarious. The country's leadership was accused of violating democratic rights, discrimination against the LGBT community, and a negative attitude toward migrants. As a result, Brussels has cut financial aid to the Polish economy until this situation changes. The Polish authorities hope that aid to Kiev will erase past mistakes and the EU will not look too closely into their domestic politics. Warsaw sharply condemned Russia's actions and even criticized Europe for two lenient sanctions against Moscow. Prime Minister Mattis Morawiecki called for stripping Russians of their visa rights, blocking Russian ships and banning trade by land. However, this has not yet led to the desired steps on the part of Brussels. At home, Boris Johnson has big problems, he is literally one step away from resignation. First, he appointed his younger brother Joe as Minister for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. Then there was a bizarre speech at a business conference, where the Prime Minister recalled for a few minutes a trip to Peppa Piggy World. But all of this pales in comparison to Patientgate. In the midst of the pandemic, Johnson threw a large-scale party at his own residence, to which members of the government were invited.